Now, recently, more and more South Africans are actually trying their hands and feet at sports, which may seem unusual against the traditional choices of soccer, cricket, rugby, swimming, and so on. Now, one sport that is changing momentum among our youth looking for something a little bit different is ice hockey. And Tenji hit the ice to get to know the sport a little bit better. With rapid skating in all directions and puck speeds that can reach up to 100 kilometers per hour, it's no wonder that ice hockey is considered one of the fastest contact sports out there, which is both chilling and thrilling. Well, once you get the hang of it, of course. South Africa has been competing internationally in ice hockey since the 1960s, but it has only recently experienced growth in popularity thanks to a better infrastructure. The main difference between ice hockey and field hockey is quite simple. First, you play ice hockey on a slab of ice, not on grass like field hockey. You're using a slightly longer stick, curved blade, and also the puck that we use. It's not round like a field hockey ball, but it's a solid piece of rubber. In the olden days, they called it a biscuit. The Grizzlies team is only about a year old as such at the moment. Our club got registered May last year. Our sport is unfortunately not growing as fast as we want to, but with programs like this, we hope to get the visibility of the sport out there so that the people watching will see that it's a safe sport to play. There's a lot of protection involved. There's a lot of safety involved. We teach the kids how to have fun. And through that, we would like to grow it for future. Ice hockey is a contact sport where players either make contact with each other or the hard ice. It's no surprise that players must wear some serious protective gear. So seeing as ice hockey is a contact sport, your gear is very important. Can you talk me through everything you're wearing right now? Well, I'd start with my skates. My shin pads, padded pants, padded chest plates, your padded shoulder pads, your elbow pads, and your padded gloves, and your helmet. So now that you're all kitted out, can you show me the basics of how to hold your stick? The stick has two sides, inside and outside, which you can use to control the puck. Okay, so now that I can control my puck, how do I take the perfect shot? Well, to take a perfect shot, you want the puck to be behind you at a diagonal so that you have a sweep, which gives you the power to put into the shot to get it off the ice and into the net. All right, let me try it. Here goes nothing. Oh. Gauteng currently boasts the biggest ice hockey league, but all provinces with an ice rink gladly welcome new players eager to give the sport a try. So I play for the under-14s. Most of us are first-timers, so first game was pretty intense. We didn't exactly know what to do, but we got the hang of it. When you're on the ice, the uh, most important thing is to have fun. One number one thing. Then it's discipline, and then it's just teamwork, knowing what the other one's doing, incorporating all of that into the game, and just enjoying yourself. I'd say come. Just come. It is fun. You're going to enjoy it. There's no problems. It doesn't matter if you can't skate. If you can, they'll teach you. It's the best fun you'll ever have in your life. So once you get started, it's smooth sailing. And the option to get to do it as a sport is even more exciting. I can't quite skate backwards yet, but you know what they say about practice. 